the original amendment, and I'm going to ask the scale of the Cabinet amendment and the Councillor Hunt to come in at this point. Only a week ago, 
when he said that local authorities have to raise their game. Well, we've raised our game. When the central government going to raise their game? We'll continue to lobby government for better, for greater rights, for protections and influence for talents in both social and private rental property. But shifting the blame onto hard-pressed local authorities is just not acceptable and we ain't going to accept it. In the longer term, this strategy raises a whole host of questions about social housing, about housing regulation, about housing management standards, about corporate government reform, about openness and accountability, openness and accountability. That is the big question in this, and it's about tenants' representation. I can show Council tonight that this Labour administration intends to play their part in the national debate that will ensue around the, the terrible tragedy of Granville. We rely on our public servants to keep us safe. We can't do that if government keeps cutting regulation and slashing funding. It is these failings which the motion before you tonight, an excellent motion, and I commend both Councillor Lord Robert Collins and James for bringing it to us tonight. It's these failings which the motion before you seeks to challenge and address. And I urge all members of all parties in this chamber tonight to consider the recommendations, to read those recommendations, and to support the motion. Thank you. So, sorry, so far I have to demonstrate Councillor Thompson, Councillor Crone, Councillor Radford, Councillor Hanratty, Councillor Corbett, uh, Councillor Peter Mitchell. Um, if you also wish to speak, then make sure that uh, one of us gets in here. We are going to go over time on this, um, this debate, um, but I think it's worthy of the, uh, the time. So I will at this point call Councillor Crone.
by the minister. Can Catherine Rose Jones, are you accepting the amendment or? Um, so we'll accept the meeting. Happy to accept that as part of the the suspended motion. No. Right. So, um, Councillor Hamrati. Thanks, thanks, Chair. Um, I think you know anybody who's seen the events on on television on that night on the fourth of June would have been absolutely devastated. I uh, think about those individuals that were, were caught up in that terrible, terrible tragedy. You would hope that something like this should have never happened. And it, it's my view and my experience on the, the Fire and Rescue Authority that this could have been prevented and it should have been prevented. If only the council and other individuals involved would have listened prior to the implementation of some of these ways that were carried out in this one, maybe this thing would never have happened and maybe we would have put to be talking about this issue today. And I think it's incumbent on us as a local authority and every local authority up and down this country to make sure that we demand that this government listen, that they listen to the concerns of our professional advisors, to our local authorities and to our residents. Because one of the things that the, the fire minister said, and we, we were at the uh, week last Monday, is that he will listen to the concerns, he will take on board the concerns of the fire sector. And as the fire minister of authority, we've already written to the, the fire minister, expressing our concerns and saying that this could have been prevented, this, these deaths could have been prevented. And it's a tragedy in itself that we're having to debate this here today. But what I would like to say on that is that when you look at the firefighters from the London Fire Service, the way they reacted to this, they were heroes. Heroes, every single one of them. When we see those 